Welcome to Electro Industries Tech Corner, where we provide you technical troubleshooting and installation tips for a wide variety of Electro Industries products. Today we're looking at the Warm Flow Select Plumbing Heater. Now if you have a cooling system in a plumbing heater, it's highly likely that your cooling system is operated or signaled through the plumbing heater control board. And today we're going to take a look at what possible scenarios could happen if you find yourself without cooling. During a cooling call, the first thing we want to do is check our front panel indicators and make sure all the correct LEDs are on steady. What we're looking for is a steady power on light, electric mode, heat pump or AC, and thermostat call. If all of those lights are on and steady, there's a very good chance we're setting the power out to the heat pump or AC unit to run. We can always grab a voltmeter and check our voltage on our control board, but I think you'll find the way our board is designed that you're going to have that voltage outside. If the green power light is flashing and the heat pump or AC light is off, it's a pretty good indication that you have a failed outdoor sensor. Now if the OT sensor fails, the logic in the control board is going to want to shut the heat pump or AC unit off because it thinks it's too cold outside. There's a couple of things that we can do real easily to get the cooling back running. And that would just involve opening up the control board and we're going to move a dial, the dial that says SW over. We're going to shift that down or switch that down to position zero, which will bypass the shutdown feature. Now the green power light is going to still flash because the, the sensor has failed, but at least that should get our cooling operational. If our electric mode light is off and our standby normal switch is in the normal position, the next thing we want to check is our utility control uh, connections. When you open up the control board, you're going to find a terminal that's labeled blue, blue, white. And on some versions of the board, older versions, there's actually going to be a blue and blue, white wire. Now that circuit has to be closed for the system to go into cooling mode. If that system is open, that means that the power company or utility is doing a control. So what we can do is temporarily bypass that circuit. Just pull the two wires off and place a jumper in there. Once we do that, we should see the electric mode and our heat pump AC light come back on. Now we want to be careful that when we jumper that, we let the power company or the utility know we've done that because they could be interrupting right now and you could be operating your cooling during a peak demand period and that could cost you a lot of money in the long run. So we definitely would want to make a call to the, the co-op and check and make sure that it's okay to bypass that circuit to get our cooling operation. When looking at the front panel, if the electric mode, or in some, on some models it'll say utility off peak, if that light is off, that's an indication that the plumbing heater is purposely interrupting the cooling call or the, the heat pump or AC cooling call. The first thing we want to check is our standby normal switch. The switch has to be down in the normal position for the cooling to operate. If you finish up the heating season in standby and you forgot to switch it down to normal, you're not going to get your cooling. So move that switch down to normal and you should, you should see the, the electric mode light come back on our heat pump AC light kick on and we'll get that cooling going again. So hopefully these, help, these tips helped you out today to get your cooling operational. Um, if you want more information on the Warner Flow Select Plumbing Heater, troubleshooting manuals, things like that, make sure to visit our website www.electromn.com. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you at the next training.